In this video, let's review the basics associated with logical volume management for some basic terms. Physical volumes are associated with the partitions that you've properly configured. Volume groups are an amalgamation of physical volumes from which logical volumes are taken and then used for mounting directories. If you want more details of the minutiae of the process, I urge you to read my RHCE Red Hat Certified Engineer Study Guide published by McGraw-Hill. But the process is fairly simple. Well, I'll make it as simple as possible. There are five basic steps. First, you use a, a tool like FDisk or Parted to create a partition, and then you set it with the right flag or code for logical volumes. Next, you assign the partition as a physical volume with a command like pvcreate, and then you use one or more physical volumes grouped together as a volume group. That gives you a bunch of available space from which you could set up one or more logical volumes, which can then be formatted, and then it's ready for use as a logical volume. With the formatted logical volume, you can mount it on a directory. Once you copy files to that directory, it's ready for use. Of course, to make sure it's available the next time you boot Linux, you'll want to document the result in the etc slash fs tab configuration file. In upcoming videos, we'll examine how to create a logical volume during the installation process and afterwards. But for now, let's review the commands required to create an appropriate partition. For that purpose, I've configured the second SCSI hard drive associated with device file dev stb. It could also be the second SATA drive. Open it with the fdisk command. The commands I use here to create a partition should already be familiar. If not, you should refer to the VTC course associated with the RHCT exam. Now that we've created the partition, let's change the partition type. To make sure we get the right type, let's list some codes. And there it is. The right code to set up the partition for logical volume management on Linux is 8E. And there it is. Partition dev slash sdb1 is now ready for preparation as part of Linux logical volume management. Now let's do the same thing with the parted utility. As before, these commands should already be familiar. But to set, set it up for logical volume management, you need to set an appropriate flag. I've created the second partition. Now we need to set it with the right flag. And there it is. It's now ready for use in logical volume management. 